A whistle. No, not a yes, whistle. extraterrestrials. Right. Give me something to do, will ya? Tired of bird watching already, are ya? At the moment, our most pressing need is to persuade the young humans to stop taking Revelade. What? I thought we destroyed all supplies of Revelade. Well, we did, but this seems to be a supply and demand problem. We've cut the supply side of the equation, you see, but we haven't yet dealt with the demand. I was told there'd be no math. It's quite simple. If the humans want that foul stuff badly enough, they'll find a way to get or make more. The main aim of this operation is to future-proof the substance-happy population here. The last thing we need is more Revelade addicts. Get them high on life, eh? Huh? Sounds good. How do we do it? I have been pondering how best to manipulate the adolescent humans' burgeoning counterculture to our advantage. Fashion? To abstract. Books and magazines? Hefner's already covered that side of the street. Then it hit me. Radio! This pirate radio fad correlates with similar phenomena, such as Teen Rebellion and folk music guitarists. According to my calculations, this is the perfect way to reach out to the kids. Hey, hey, wait a second. This is one of those disguise missions, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, not quite. I just uh, need you to dress up and blend in. <clears throat> For crying out loud, Pox, the name of the game is Destroy All Humans, not play some stupid record and keep the kids off drugs. Do you think perhaps you might be able to focus on this briefing for, oh, the next 30 seconds? Concentrate! If you say so. So how do I use pirate radio? Simply slip into the pirate radio station and broadcast this LP I've prepared. If my assumptions are correct, it will incite them to spontaneously create a happening. It's quite convincing. I even use their lingo. LP, huh? Sounds groovy. Okay, Daddy-o, I'll spin your platter. Where's the pirate radio station? I'm afraid you'll have to locate it yourself. The signal is bouncing off all these metal structures. I can't triangulate it accurately. You might try mind scanning the local inhabitants. Easy enough, but uh, I'm a little fuzzy on this whole happening thing. You want to mark it for me? I'll be setting the scene in a corner of Canal Side. I'll blip it as soon as I'm done there. Right on. Leave it to me, Poxy. Persuasion's my specialty. Don't I know it. Good luck, Crypto. And remember, I'm counting on you. I want to meet the pirate DJ. 
Roger said he hides out in the side street, south of the bridge. Of course, Roger was out of his brain on leapers at the time. Bloody twit. There's the DJ. Get over there and take over his phonograph. On the other hand, it beats pulling splinters out of your ass in the loo of the marquee, doesn't it? Remember 
now, Crypto. You'll need a disguise. You might freak them out, and that just won't do. Excuse me. Uh, yo, listen up. Brothers and sisters, I, I gotta tell you, the doors of my consciousness have been flung wide open. I mean, it's all happening, you know? <laughs> anyway, uh, suddenly I I'm wondering, what are we here for? That's easy, we're here to change the world, man. Well, yeah, obviously, but how? How do we change the world? Well, um, you know, by dressing and acting different like. And, you know, breaking social mores. And stuff. But at what price, man? How can you say your minds are free when you're still slaves to Revelade? But Revelade has liberated our souls. Besides, we can quit any time we want to. Liberated your souls? Jeez, where do I start? Look, first off, you don't have a... Uh, no, no, you're not ready for that one. Look. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. It, it's an illusion, dig? A bourgeois construct. Don't you get it? The only way to be free is to stop wanting to. Discipline is freedom. Whoa! Forget the clothes and the hair. They're just trappings. They're not the real you. The real you transcends fashion. What are you saying? I, I, I suppose we should all get crew cuts and go to work for the man then. Is that it? No. Rebel against the man in your minds. Take the system apart from inside. You dig? Change your clothes, your hair, your faces. Infiltrate the square system. Outperform him, outearn him, and overthrow his status quo. And make tons of cash in the bargain. Wow, fight consumerism with more consumerism. I think you're onto something. Revelate is a nowhere scene. I'm off to apply for a job at the stock exchange. Who's with me? What's going on? A walk among us. What's going Hello? on? Ah, Are you a flasher?
has neglected my holy sights. Remove this encroaching garbage, or thou shalt feel the heat of my fully aroused wrath. Good to see you, brother! Modernism is so 19th century. Pop art is where it's at, am I right? Push off, oldie. The Canal Side Mod Mob is invitation only. But, uh, it's about your leader's Lambretta. He, he parked it, uh... Ah, oh, go winched a lion all about it. He's right over there, surrounded by all the flopsies. Now piss off! What's the buzz, man? Not much, man. Feeling a little groovy. Far out, baby. But you know. Oh, man, you're gonna talk to me about clothes again, aren't you? But crushed velvet is like so autumn 68. I bought the Yankee yesterday, man. <laughs> What's the buzz? So what's been happening in in the scene? Not much. Otis Redding is still cool. Sky is still trendy and our suits are still good for another week. Uh, I hear there's a new cult in town. You know, something about a guy called Arkvoodle. So? So he's the hippest thing to hit canal side since Eric Clapton, man. Get with it. Oh, yeah? Well, if he's so great, ask him why Spats never came back into style. Arkvoodle has got the biggest soul collection you could ever lay your eyes on. Has he got stacks in Tamla Motown? Yeah, sure. Why not? In fact, he's got stuff you ain't never even heard of. I don't know. Not even the largest record stores are that kind of stuff. You sure you heard right? How else would I know what the all-time coolest Motown is? I, I bet it's so cool you've never even heard of it! Oh yeah? So tell us, what does Ark Voodle listen to? Get this, non-stop, all day, every day, the who? Oh, let down, man. No mod worth his suede shoes would listen to the who. Three words, and one of them's a disease. Blind, willy, syphilis. Who the hell is that? Man, I knew you guys weren't cool enough. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Oh, oh you mean blind Willie Syphilis. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I've heard of him, yeah, yeah. You say Arkvoodle likes him? You know, we could achieve so many great things if we didn't spend all our money on clothes. You're not becoming a hippie, are you? We thought you were cool. Truth hurts, baby. We're behind the times. We gotta move forward, and Arkvoodle is the way. Fashion's all about being an individual, yeah? We don't need no Arkvoodle to lead us. 
Art Foodle can predict the future. He can tell what'll be fashionable before it's even invented. Get down off your soapbox, Granddad. It's not possible. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what you'll all be wearing in ten years' time. Sequins, gold lame, ridiculously tight hot pants, and, to top it all off, bell-bottom jeans. Sounds like a tacky nightclub act. I mean, how can people of the future wear that stuff? You're gonna find out, cause those people in the future, they're gonna be you! Suddenly Nostradamus makes a lot of sense, yeah? The end of the world's coming, isn't it? Arkvoodle's an ancient alien god. He's seen every fashion trend since the dawn of time. No way. An alien? Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Oh, yeah. He's got universal appeal. <laughs> Bad pun aside, he, he does sound very cool. Maybe there is something to this cult business. Behold! Yeah, parlor tricks. Smoke and mirrors. Are you out of your minds? I'm a freaking alien! No respect, I tell you. Okay, if Ark Voodle's got the best soul collection in the world, bring us some tunes. Oh, I'll bring you some tunes. I'll bring you tunes so good they'll melt your monkey brains. You do that. Fine, I will. Yeah, what's that? Mm. It's just... Pox, I need your help. And go easy on the smart-ass comments. Me? Rebut you in an erudite fashion? I wouldn't dream of it. Pox, you gotta tell me, was there any Furon music on the mothership? What a strange request. Besides my own collection of chamber music, and some greatest hits collections, you know, Summer Nights on Furon, all that stuff. That's, that's not gonna cut it. I need something with, uh... With soul. Gastro did have some blind willy syphilis data cause. I wouldn't call it music, but it may suit your purpose. Yeah, I remember that guy. A real deep voice, throbbing kind of stuff. A any chance the data cores survived? Well, they are hardy little things. But now that I think of it, the local pirate DJ was playing something recently that sounded distressingly familiar. The pirate DJ must have found one of Gastro's data cores. A dead pirate DJ and Furon Blues. I think I just found my purpose in life.
Will you show yourself? They are in our very midst! Not in a good way. I just that knows this. Three. 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 All right, you have my attention. They walk amongst us! Somebody ring up the proper authorities! If I close my eyes, it will all go away. with it. 
I'm a little busy, do you mind? Uh, hey, ever heard of a chica by the name of Silhouette? Wore a mask? Kinda nuts? Who told you about her? No one's supposed to know MI6 is part of Majestic. Must have been that damned rogue agent. Oh, he burns me up. Listen, I've got a mission for you. What happened? Lost a little agent to the big bad Soviets. Well, yes, that's it exactly. Algernon, our expert on Soviet relations, has disappeared. We can't risk him spilling our weaknesses. Her Majesty's honor is at stake. I think it's fairly safe. I hear Princess Margaret's pretty saucy, though. Quite. Sounds right up my alley. Just point me in the right direction. Good show. You'll find Algernon cowering in the Soviet sector. Bring him back. Alive. Aw, oh, man. Where's the fun in that? I need a nap. What's with all the traffic backing up around the Soviet embassy lately? There must be something interesting going on in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one. The Soviet Embassy never has time to look at my business proposals, as if they have anything more exciting to do. Belgian on you, rascal. How could you betray your majesty like this? No my way. queen! Why has thou forsaken me? Flee, capitalist Svolich! Belgianowski is being ours, English scum!
make this as quick as I can. Special delivery! Algernon, you old rascal. How could you betray her majesty like this? My queen! Why hast thou forsaken me? Flee, capitalist Swalich! Algernonsky is being ours, English scum! Special delivery!
Hey, Poxerific. Looking good. Holographics becomes you, baby. <laughs> How are things in the afterlife, Poxy? You having fun, relaxing, while I do all the work? Oh yes, dreadful fun. And I mean that more than literally. Now pay attention. I've got a job for you. One that I know you'll enjoy. So what is it this time? You ain't got a bodily waste recyclatron anymore. And I'd say that severely limits your ability to play practical jokes. Yes, yes, point out that I'm dead. Again! That will make it funnier. I need you to take out a KGB agent called Luca. He's in the Soviet Embassy, sporing it up. What do you mean? He's uh, some kind of plant-human hybrid? This is too important to joke about, Crypto. He's placing drums of super-efficient spores all around Albion. Find Luca and you'll find the location of those drums. Now get moving! Infecting twice as fast. Why do this? I am not knowing. Uh, and why put him so far? Soho Bridge, Canal Side, Hyde Park. He's too far to walk. Can be causing friction rash on one Zelda. Yes, yes, what is it? Little green Americans! Are you completely engineered? Yes, the levitation is You are interrupted! Yes, the I meant to do that! I will crush you! Keep on going! An intended thing! Dying for you. Yeah, what's that? Decadent capitalist wizard. Make no
What's going on? Is that a streaker? What is it? What's going on? Look here, I've no time for games. Yeah. If you think I appreciate having my time wasted in this manner, you are very much mistaken. Someone there, enemy of the revolution! Ah! Hiya, Ivan. How's Trix? I hear the Revelade supplies were blown to smithereens. Any ideas on the culprit? Da, is possible small mod man called Terry Squire is finding out about the plot. Maybe he's telling someone. Who is knowing? Be finding him and then be making sure no one else does. Ever. You got it, Ivan. Er, Boris. It's one of those, right? You are not being funny. Why you must be saying hurtful things? Go and finding Terry Squire near Canal. Then returning and apologize. Terry's been so tense lately, and he only hangs around north of the canal when he's super worried. He wouldn't be worrying about those KGB agents who keep trying to kill him, would he? After us, Terry, you better rush it out. In my Head for the hill.
I'll make this as quick What's as I can. What's all Day, old chap. Uh, I was wondering if I might uh, have a bit of a uh, badger. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. No, I don't believe that's it. Bloody HQ, eh? Always mixing this up. Uh, uh, give me a sec, will ya? The lone heron is ripe for the plucking. Excellent, if a tad unenthusiastic. Six out of ten. What? Now you're after a government minister who's been trading secrets with the Soviets. If we don't take him out, their navy might catch up to ours within twenty years or so. Wow, sounds terrible. So I'm looking for a minister. Man. That's something I don't say every day. Our informant will call the phone box near the Parliament House Bridge in one minute. On your horse, old chap! Ripe for the plucking. No Brain, that sucks. Excellent. The intended target has left Parliament House and is heading for the Soviet Embassy. Eliminate only the arrival at the Embassy. I repeat, eliminate the target only once it has reached the Soviet Embassy. Remember, cease movement immediately. I see. You see, you can't trust oh. national security to labor. Politics, who needs it? Now, fashion design, that's a scene worth watching. Come out where I can see you. Those Soviets are so groovy and intense, I'd tell them my secrets in a heartbeat. Soviets are wearing this spring. I do hope they have a ball at their embassy. I'd love to see their new fall line of babushka wraps and potato sack dresses. <laughs> Service. Two can play at that. Soviets are our mortal enemies, but we give them a rutting embassy that's bigger than the Prime Minister's paycheck. I never understand politics. People are bound to notice if a cabinet minister just disappears, even if it is in the Soviet embassy. Oh, who am I kidding? They all look the same. I claim diplomatic immunity.
I claim diplomatic the immunity. Plans are loose. I am KGB agent. All right, you have my attention. Hello. Hello. And someone's playing silly bug on the way. Combustion engines with their pistons thrusting and carcinogen belching. Oh, for some peace and quiet. Destroy a few as a warning to others of their kind. What's going on? They walk among us. I've no time for game. Oh, boy, if you think I appreciate having my time. Well, is it Thursday already? Who are you people? Someone called us stone posers. I guess that's what we are. <laughs> uh, you got a leader? Look for the walking man. He's so vertical it hurts. Mitch! Now, Shell, deep breaths. Did I miss the Hendrix gig? You're smashed up worse than Pete Townsend's Rickenbacker. What's uh, what's the deal? Revelate, oh revelate! I need it. You're stoned on revelate. You have revelate, Jimmy. Uh. Hey, guys, uh, I got something that'll chase your blues away. Whoa, the colors, man, the colors. Daddy? Yeah. 
You guys stink. The color of revolution is not brown. Revelate makes unhappy tummies, man. Oh, don't blame us. I can help you shake this monkey off your back, monkeys. With what, man? We've tried everything. Easy. I'll infuse you with the spiritual essence of Ark Voodle. Even triple distill won't work, man. Nothing helps. Brothers and sisters, I feel your pain. Oh, my brain is melting. Ah. You're all into that spiritual crap they print on the back of those incense packets, ain't ya? Well, I got a new god for ya. Name's Arkvoodle, and he's the best thing to happen to you since you figured out that boil on your ass was a marshmallow. Uh, <laughs> I bet I could tell you I'm an alien from the planet Furon, here to harvest your brain stems, and you wouldn't even care. Cool! Do it! At least that'll take care of my headache! You know you're signing up for a cult, right? Uh, don't you want to see my true alien form first? Whatever floats your boat, man. Whee! I don't even know why I'm bothering. Behold. <laughs> You're like a little green toddler. Say that again and I'll break your jaw. Now hustle. You got worshiping to do. Maybe tomorrow. Could you maybe give us a lift home, yeah? I, I can't seem to move. Cheers. Great. Just great. I better get something out of all this. That's all I'm saying. Where's the... Ring the fire brigade! Right. It's like I fell, but Down. I've got a revelate hangover that can choke it to boy, man. Boy, that was odd. Lead the way. That was so groovy, thanks. Gordon Bennett, what just happened? from beyond.
He's good. Thanks, stranger. Is it? Right, that hurt. Well, I haven't got all day. Our men are in trouble. Get a move on. like so Among us, all the army. Elok Voodle, Lord of the Sacred Crutch. It is good to be somewhere different for a change. So tell me, Shammy, how things been? All quiet on the Eastern Front? Not quite. We seem to have a government mall amidst our midst. Nobody ever told me cults were so high maintenance, although it is kind of flattering. Nonetheless, we are in need of your talent for disposing of inconvenient obstacles discreetly. Discreetly? Ah, oh, man. It's Super Weapon O'Clock. What do you got for me? We have finally discovered the key to the weapon! Alien DNA! What do you think I'm made of? Musk sticks? Not Furon DNA. Something else. Something very, very aggressive. We will need very many alien artifacts to make it work. Another Gather the Berries quest. You want me to slay a dragon while I'm at it? Okay, keep your panties on. I'll find your mole and take care of him discreetly. You may have to go undercover to rat him out, but do not upset the hippies. Their nerves are a bit raw. Revelade with Troll, it's a bitch. Now I got a tiptoe, too. This mission just keeps getting better and better. By the sacred crotch of our plural.
If I were a lord of the sacred crutch, where would I be? Wow, religious fervors like the ultimate buzzman. And so cheap. Hail, Arkvoodle, lord of the sacred crutch. I'm like totally feeling groovy, man. Arkvoodle's far out, baby, yeah. Could like tell these cultists to sh hail Arkvoodle, Lord of the. S he may be an alien god, but like Arkvoodle can't ignore us forever, yeah. Far out. You think Arkmoodle could like tell these cultists to shower or something? Hello? I'm trying to be aroused here. Hail, Arkvoodle, Lord of the Sacred Crutch. Good thing this is fashionable, or I think it was weird. Oh. Whoa, religious fervor's like the ultimate buzz, man. I'm like totally feeling groovy, man. This Arkvoodle cult sure has a galvanizing effect on its members. Perhaps we can use Arkvoodle to regain the colonies. It might be a bit too late for India, though. Oh no. They realize I'm not the pill popping degenerate I claim to be. Hell oh, for anything, me. Dare have us, bitch. And I was pulling off the irascible rascal act so well. Damn you, Arkboodle! Arkboodle? Who's that? And what's he got to do with our undercover operation? I said, come out. Yes? What's going on? I demand vengeance. Those youths keep tapping out the sacred herb pipes upon my holy, if indestructible, image, appease my righteous fury by destroying several of their number. Now summon a nice sky chariot from this location. Salutations! 
Shammy, we gotta stop this radio show. We can't have people freaking out about aliens. My life's already inconvenient enough. You think looking this good just happens by itself? Why do you think I'm on the show if not to save your figurative bacon? Please, relax. There's gotta be something I can do about the UFO crazies who are gonna call the station. You know, something explosive. All you need to do is disrupt them. These people always use public phones. But the DJ will announce their location at the beginning of each call. They should be easy to find. Then I get to make with the Annihilation. Got it. Violence is not the only path, my son. You need only disrupt them. Their deaths are not necessary. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Listen, you do your thing and I'll do mine, capiche? All right, time to listen in, find the crazies, and take them down. Make sure to get the calls off the air before they betray any conclusive evidence. It will not be hard for me to discredit them once they have disappeared. Welcome back. You've tuned into our newest program, Alien Overlords, I am Myth a or Reality. We want to hear from you, our listeners. But first, let me introduce a man of some note, Mr. Guru Shamalama, leader of the relative species Ark Voodoo phenomenon. Tell us, Mr. Guru, why should we worship this Ark Voodoo? Because Ark Voodoo is Lord of the Sacred Crutch. His benevolent love knows no boundaries. He who accepts Ark Voodoo as his personal lord and sexual savior can achieve unprecedented sexual prowess and prosperity in all matters of the groin. His recent conquests include the planet of the Huris, where he seduced a race of white raisins from space. Fascinating. And time for our first caller, Jeff from Soho Bridge. Hello, Jeff. What's the bus? Do you have a testament about our criminal to share with us today? Oh, it's a bloody fire! They took me off again! It's spacecraft! You mean spacecraft? Welcome back. You've tuned into our newest That's program, right. Alien Overlords, Myth or Reality. We want to hear from you, our listeners. But first, let me introduce a man of some note, Mr. Guru Shamalama, leader of the relatively recent Ark Voodoo phenomenon. Tell us, Mr. Guru, why should we worship this Ark Voodoo? Because Ark Voodoo is Lord of the Sacred Crush. It's my knows no boundaries. Please go on. He who accepts Ark Voodoo as his personal lord and sexual savior can achieve unprecedented sexual prowess and prosperity in all matters of the groin. His recent conquests include the planet of the Huris, where he seduced a race of white raisins from space. Fascinating. And time for our first caller, Jeff from Soho Bridge. Hello, Jeff. What's the bus? Do you have a testament about Ark Voodoo to share with us today? Oh, it's a fire. Space craft. You mean spacecraft? No, it's a... Oh, 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 it
Hello? Hello? Jeff seems to have been cut off. You believe I've heard of this Jeff before. He caused some trouble for our cooler some weeks back when he escaped from a local mental institution. Perhaps the wardens managed to pry him away from the rec room phone. Fascinating. I'm down back. Good. Stay tuned for more alien overlords, fact or fiction. Our next caller is Robert from Parliament House. Tell me, Robert. Yes, yes, go on. No, all right. Uh, well, I do know. Our next caller is Cynthia from Hyde Park. Welcome to the show, Cynthia. Please be safe. Rod, it's a well-known fact that people have encountered with aliens do tend to go insane. We're not mentally equipped to deal with the idea that there are forces greater than ourselves. The sign, of course, from invisible, omnipotent, bearded father in the sky. Scaring the closest of our enemies. Jeff and Robert weren't cut off. And so if you, Cynthia, are safe, one can assume you have not encountered Cynthia. Cynthia! Cynthia! Right, Buddha. Seems to me we need some new Slade devotees. <laughs> Any ideas? We could paper the streets with promotional flyers. The only problem is that the local art scene is kind of dull. We need something truly groovy. Yeah, I can see how that's a problem here. I know, the freak! He could do it! The freak? What are you getting me into here? I knew you to go to Bay City and find the freak. His groovy art skills are just what we are needing. All right, Bay City, coming up. Where do I find him? He usually hangs out in Hushbury, across from Golden Gate Park. Voodle speed, son of Voodle! Out with it! Oh, the xenophobia! What's going on? 
What's going on? What's going on? Um, okay. No more shrimps for Scotland. Just let's make it. My pain. Shamalama tells me you got some groovy art skills. Want a gig? No way, man. I'm bombed. I'm no good for anybody right now. Okay, I'll bite. What's wrong? And what do I gotta do to get my poster? I wouldn't want him anyway, man. Everybody hates my work. Is this a, a private pity party, or can anyone join? You don't understand me, man. No one does. I'm tortured. Right. Your situation is utterly unique in human history. Look, aren't your paintings all over Hashberry? If people hated them, they'd paint over them or pee on them or something. Ha! You want to know what people think of my art? Fine, I'll show you. Man, well, except the urine stain. Just ignore that. What's he? Oh God, he's not. Oh. Wow. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we we get rid of this. Damn. Oh, yeah. uh. Must be my art. 
Shocker I'm point. To wish I painted more it's than one picture. Where's the variety? No need for violence, man. Have you seen this mural? You dig it? I just don't appreciate our decent, you know? I, um... Whatever, man. There are other four more expressions. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah! Groove on, baby! That's my heart! You see, don't it feel good? Some people see you really with my heart, you know? I'm totally getting into the art scene, man. Everybody's got to know my name. See, lots of people love your art. You're living the dream, baby. It's freaking inspiring. Oh, man. Who knew people could get so into art? This is incredible. I've never felt so legitimate, so loved, so totally accept- Moment's over. Move on. Now knock off the self-pity and paint me a damn poster! That's a tall order at the moment, man! It's tough for me to put my hands on art supplies! Oh yeah? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Nudie mags, confiscation! You know, but the voodoo will come through for me, right? You can find this stuff for me! Show them they can't repress art, man! What do you say? Yippee! People should love my work! I'm a golden guy! I got a gun! What the hell was that? Man, oh man, People that was far freaking than work. I'm a golden guy! Can I help you? Oh. Yeah. Little oh, toddler! Hello? Hello? Yeah. Charge? Wow. Drop your pack! What was that? Oh. Ah.
What's that? What's the bug? You can call me. Die, punk! Punk! I say, come out and present yourself. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, on second thought, no, don't sir, don't. Well, I finally got the freak to cancel the pity party. Tell me you got the posters. I did, and they look groovy. <laughs> Let us get to distributing. Any more info on my part of this super weapon thingy? The DNA looks terrifying. It is some kind of beast with gigantic fangs and gnawing and biting and daring. Whoa, whoa, calm down, Sparky. I get the picture. I'm not sure how you got that from the DNA, but okay. We found something bizarre in Takoshima, too. It is on its way. I will know more later. 
time to become the opiate of the masses. Just dump the flares along the streets from your saucer. The groovy artwork will do the rest. And people are gonna read something dumped on them from a UFO. Any publicity is good publicity. And the culties have been hyping it up. They think it is just a stunt. But status quo, right? The cops will still try to shoot me down. Oh, I'm afraid so. And they are even less tolerant than the base city policemen. Let me guess. I can't fire back again. Nope. Be careful up there, son of Ark Voodle. I say, who's there? You see, you can't trust national security to labor. So tell me that I'm safe. Friends are gonna be so jealous, man. Whoa, I've been looking for a new car. Groovy. Totally groovy artwork, man. This art noodle is really far out. Whoa, it like floated into my hand. That's my nappy. I want to be saved. That sky's crying rainbow tears, man. Filthy, horrible savages littering my streets.
Good heavens, it's a ticket tape parade! Horrible savages littering my streets! Oh, my God. 